Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Sunday and cooking. And this is the last Sunday in January, so it's the last Sunday for our casseroles. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to make two casseroles here today. Actually, they're, they're casseroles, but they're side dishes. And they're both southern dishes. And so I thought I'd try. I have not made either one of them before. So we're going to try them together. The first one that I'm making um, is called Savannah Red Rice and the red coming from tomatoes that are in it. So, and then the second one is called a pineapple casserole. Now, when I first saw that, I went, oh, I don't know. Because it's pineapple and cheddar cheese and cracker crumbs and whatever. But then I stopped to think, uh, Hawaiian pizza has pineapple and cheese. So I bet it's not too bad at all. So we're gonna give them both a try. And we're gonna use them tonight. We're having pork chops. So they'll make nice side dishes for the pork chops. Right now, uh, you can hear probably the pan in the, in the, over by the side here. I'm working on the Savannah red rice by cooking up some bacon. So I'll take you down and show you what's going on. Right back. Okay, over here in this pan, I've got five slices of bacon. And I'm just frying them up. <clears throat> and these are going to be actually a topping for the casserole, so they're not going to be mixed in. But you know, already it's pretty good because everything's better with bacon. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what else you need to have. You need to have a cup of rice, and you'll see me put it all together. You need peppers, onions, and celery, canned tomatoes, salt, pepper, cayenne pepper, chicken stock, and hot sauce. I'm going to modify this just a little bit because we're not, uh, I'm, my husband, I, I don't think it would, would be a big fan of too much spice, but I want to have enough so you get the idea of what the dish flavor is. That's just about ready. And in this container I have one large onion. I have a small yellow pepper. It doesn't make any difference what color. just called for pepper. And a couple of stalks of celery. And I'm going to put that in that pan once I get the the bacon out of it, which is right about now. And we'll let that drain. But we're not wasting this bacon grease. I've got to turn down for just a minute because of course there's water in these vegetable and to make the bacon grease pop. And my oven has preheated. And actually, it's kind of a one pot meal until you put it in the casserole dish. I'm going to move you down a little bit further back here. You can see casserole dish. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and this is going to cook, oh, five to eight minutes. You want to get these kind of soft. And I used the larger hole on my chopper, so it might take a little bit longer. But the little hole is, is really quite hard to get things through. So I'm going to let this cook and I'll be back when we're pretty re much ready for the next step. Okay, we're pretty close now. So I'm going to add the rest of the things. Right. Now, the only um, tomatoes I have have green chilies in them. So I'm not going to add the hot sauce. 
I'm going to add, this is a 10 ounce can. It calls for 14 ounces. So I'm going to add a little extra um, chicken broth to make up for the amount of liquid that would be in 14 ounces. And I used better than bouillon and left half of it in the cup. And I am going to take this cup, get a little of this hot stuff, and get the rest of that bouillon out. There we go. Empty. <clears throat> now I'm going to put just a little bit of cayenne. I mean a little bit. <laughs> And I'm not putting any hot sauce because of the green chilies. I'm going to mix this all together. And then I'm just going to put it in this casserole dish. And it's going to go in the oven for about 45 minutes until the rice has absorbed the liquids and is nice and tender. So, cover it with foil. I just shut the whole oven off. I don't know. <laughs> okay, timer. 40. There we go. Now we got it. I think. No, I don't. There we go. So that's casserole number one. I'm going to pick up this uh, mess here, and I'll be back with casserole number two. Pineapple casserole. Right back. Okay, now I'm going to tell you I'm making just half of this recipe because it'll be more than enough for the two of us. <clears throat> now this sounds to me like it would be a very good side dish to go with ham. But well, we're having pork chops tonight, so it's similar. So and I have got one can of pineapple chunks that I have basically drained. I got a little bit more in there. Um, one second. There we go. Now it calls for the recipe calls for a cup and a third of sugar. I'm making half the recipe, but I'm only going to add a half a cup. It sounded like plenty of sugar to me. It calls for five tablespoons of flour, so I'll give myself a couple of good ones. And 
maybe a half. Okay. And I'm going to toss this well. It also calls for six tablespoons of the reserved juice, so I'm going to put three. One, two, three. All right, I'm going to use this little casserole dish. Corningware, how many of you still have these? And then it calls for topping this with cheddar cheese. And it called for a cup, so I have about a half a cup here. Now the last part is to top that again with some Ritz cracker crumbs and that have been mixed with melted butter. So I just added the butter in here. Called for a sleeve. I have a half a sleeve in here. But I have a board underneath my dish. There. Looks pretty good. And that's going to go in the oven for uh, about half an hour. And it goes in a 350 degree oven also. So I'm going to put it right in the oven with the other casserole, and we'll see you when this one comes out. Back in a bit. Well, here's casserole number one out of the oven. And I'll dig a little bit out here. And I'm going to let it cool just while I wait for the other one to come out. Steamy hot. And it looks really good. And of course, I crumbled just a little bacon on the top of that. When we serve it for dinner, I will uh, add the bacon. What happens is the bottom of this gets a little crunchy, and the top is nice and fluffy. And I'm going to cover this back up because we're not quite ready to eat. Let's see, taste test number one. I want to get some tomato. Mmm. Very good. There's a little heat. I don't think it'll be too much for Bob. It's a little heat. Yummo. I can taste the bacon. Of course, it was in that bacon grease. The rice is nice and fluffy. I made it all gone. A 
All right, I'll be back in a minute when, when casserole number two comes out of the oven. Back in a bit. Okay, here's mini casserole number two. This one smells good. See if I can just get just a little in the corner here. Now I know this is going to be hot. So I'm going to wait on this one. Because uh, pineapple will be hot. I lied. I didn't wait. <laughs> Let me tell you. Look at that. Pineapple with the cheese. That, my friends, is elegant. Where has this been all my life? Absolutely, absolutely delicious. Now, it doesn't need any more sugar, that's for sure. But what you're getting is the sweet pineapple with the salty cheese and the salty cracker crumbs. And it's absolutely delicious. And I'll be sure and have some more of that when it gets to be time for dinner. So I hope you enjoyed those two casseroles. We'll bring you down and show you them again. Hold on. They're both super, super good. This has a little bite to it. I wish I didn't have the tomatoes with the green chilies in them, but I do. But Bob eats uh, a medium salsa, and it's not even as hot as that, so it should be fine. In the meantime, hope you have a great Sunday. I'm going to wait now and have dinner in a little bit. Bob's still playing golf, but this will be all ready. And I will see you again on Tuesday. And Tuesday... We will be doing my February cards because it will be February. Time to get the cards out for the birthdays and anniversaries in February. So until then, everybody stay safe, stay healthy, keep your distance, wear your mask, play by the rules, wash your hands, and everybody play nice now. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you Tuesday. Love you. Bye-bye.